Hey guys, welcome back to the Better Mornings, your daily dose of positivity, the show where we share with you some amazing positive news to start your day with and to fill your day with all the positive vibes that you need. Now today is National Science Day as you might have been seeing trending everywhere on social media. This is the day that's celebrated every year on 28th of February to mark the discovery of Raman effect by Indian physicist Sir Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman. And uh, we are celebrating this day by uh, giving a shout out to all the amazing scientists and innovators in the country by talking about people who have innovated something in the past or have come up today and innovated something in the recent years and have uh, affected the society in a very very positive manner so I have a set of some amazing videos that I'll play for you right now as always if you like those videos please make sure that you leave your comments in the comment section below let us know about some amazing scientific inventions that you must have read off in the recent past we'd like to know all about those so let's get started the first story is about Tessie Thomas the first woman to head an Indian missile project she is known for breaking the glass ceiling and breaking it so well uh, she is the woman behind the development of Agni 5 missile as part of the Agni missile program at DRDO we have made a video about Tessie Thomas and her life please have a look This was Tessie Thomas's extremely inspiring story. Next up, we are moving to the story of A.R. Shivakumar. Now, this is a Bangalore-based scientist who has come up with a way. I might have showed his video to you in the past also, but today is the day when we have to talk about him. He has come up with a way to run his house only on rainwater. So, he utilizes different methods of rainwater harvesting and he has not paid his water bills like any water bills for past 20 years because he has no water connection in his house. All that is needed to run his house is rainwater. How exactly did Mr. A.R. Shivakumar make it possible? What were the different innovative methods that he employed in his house is what we have made a video about. Please have a look. So this was the story of Mr. A.R. Shivakumar, a rainwater harvesting hero, you can say. We have many people watching us. We have Pankaj who says, a day to remember Dr. Raman and many others. Sunita Singh says, hello. Uh, and Louis says, hello from Sweden. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for your comments. We have Alok who says, salute to our scientists on the occasion of Science Day for making India proud. Thank you so much to everyone who is leaving their comments behind. Let's move forward. The next story is about Dr. Lalji Singh, the father of Indian DNA 
fingerprinting he's called now the uh, dr lalji passed away last year in december uh, we have made a story about his incredible contribution to society with science research and so much more we have made a video on what exactly did he do and what is he known for please have a look Now the next story of the day is my favorite story. This is so. Uh, this is a story that shows that when people they find a problem, they come up with a solution. How it solves a larger issue. This is the story of a man named Tirupati Rao. Now Tirupati Rao is works as a contractor in Andhra Pradesh. He saw some of the problems that his employees were facing. A major one was which that they had to suffer through a lot of injuries when they were climbing electric poles. It was not a very easy job to do. They were facing a lot of struggles, a lot of problems. So he came up with an innovative idea. He invented a shoe using which uh, his employees can climb these poles very, very easily. And the video shows how exactly the shoe works. So we have made a video about Tirupati. Please have a look. So this was Tirupati's inspiring story. We have Vinod Kumar Saxena who has said that I have put a water usage system in my place where the entire bath water and washing machine water is used for flushing the toilets. By this method, I am saving approx. 7 70,000 litres of water every month and he stays in Kormangla in Bangalore. Thank you so much Vinod Kumar for helping us with this information about your work. Uh, let's move forward. The next story is about Satish Kumar. Satish is a chemical, uh, is sorry, is a mechanical engineer who has come up with a chemical reaction process using which plastic can be converted into different forms of usable energy and this is being used by the local community where he works. He's helping them use uh, what he is coming up with so we have made a video on Satish please have a look
this was the last video of the day, our way of saluting these people and their scientific innovations and inventions. Uh, if you like this video, as always, please make sure that you share it. Ask your friends to like the Wet India's page on Facebook and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are putting up amazing positive stories there throughout the day. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for your time. We'll see you again tomorrow. In the meantime, have a great, great day ahead. Bye.